Ты сегодня свободна? Нет, я должна заниматься. Let's talk about a kind of adjective you may not have seen before. They're called short-form adjectives or just short adjectives, and the reason is because they are shorter than other adjectives. That is, the endings are shorter. Now, you know that all Russian adjectives need to match the gender of the noun they modify, so let's look at the endings that you'll need for the short adjectives. We have masculine, svabodyan, feminine, svabodna, neuter, svabodna, spelled with an o that's unstressed, and also a plural for any gender, svabodny. Let's compare those short adjectives with the regular long forms. Svabodny, svabodnaya, svabodnaya, svabodnye. You'll see that most of the endings on the short adjectives are shorter by one letter. So we have the feminine a instead of aya, neuter o instead of oye, plural u instead of uye. But you can see that the masculine form of the short adjective has no ending at all. We've just removed the y from the long ending completely, and you'll also notice that we insert a vowel before the n. This happens often with short adjectives that would otherwise end in a cluster of two consonants. If that last consonant is n, then we'll normally insert a y, as we see for both svabodyan and dolzhen. One really nice thing about short adjectives is that they don't change for case, only for gender and number. So these are the only endings that you'll need to remember for them. That makes them quite a bit easier, I think, than regular adjectives that change for gender, number, and case. Now, this is a beginning-level video, so we won't go into too many details about the usage of short versus long adjectives. In fact, the nuances can vary depending on the particular adjective that you're talking about. For now, let's just mention that many short adjectives can suggest a temporary context. In this example, we're not asking if the person is intrinsically or permanently free in some kind of philosophical or political sense. We're just wondering whether she's free right now, that is, not busy. Summing up, many Russian adjectives have both a short and a long form. The short form agrees for number and gender uh, with the noun that it modifies, uh, but not for case. In fact, you'll only see them used with the subject of a sentence. Many short adjectives suggest a state that's limited or temporary in some way. But usage depends on the context and can vary for different adjectives, so be aware that we're just scratching the surface here. For now, a good way to begin is to learn these two short adjectives just as vocabulary in context. Svabodyan, meaning free in the sense of not busy. Dolzhen, used with the infinitive, meaning should, or ought to, or have to.